Hi everyone, Rich Crescenti here with another in our series of videos making music with Melodyne. And today's topic is pitch correction for beginners. Now this was shot using Melodyne Essential. And today we're gonna to cover a lot of the topics for people who aren't necessarily familiar with Melodyne yet. Editing the pitch of the note, the timing of the note, splitting notes to treat them separately, and even cleaning up your track a little bit. All right, so let's jump in and take a look. This is a song called Fool For Your Touch by Abby Ahmad, singer-songwriter out of Brooklyn, New York. Here it is. Sometimes I find that I'm lost in you. All right, so right out of the gate, you can hear the vibe of this song. It's very natural, it's very soulful, it's very bluesy. And these are important things to understand. And if you have a good set of ears or a good grasp of theory and harmony, you can just jump right in and start editing. I can just come over here and take this first note and move this one up a little bit. And I wanna point out something right here. When this note is selected, Melodyne gives us some information about the note in these windows right here. For example, Melodyne is saying this is a C sharp and it is 30 cents flat, right? You'll see this is the offset in terms of cents. Now, this is useful because this tells you about the note and where you are. And if you ever want to set something to bang on center of pitch, there's a very easy way to do that, which is just to come over to the note and double click on it. And that will move that right to the center. I can do the same thing right here, except it always moves it to the note that you are closest to. So in this particular case, this is a D, it should be a D sharp. So instead, what I might do is drag it a little closer right there and double click again, and it will jump right to the correct note. So I can double click that one and I can double click this one as well. All right, now let's give it a listen and see how this sounds. First, we're gonna to listen to the original vocal. I'm gonna use this compare button right here. This is a global bypass for Melodyne. So let's hear the original. Sometimes I find the okay, and now let's hear the pitch corrected version. Sometimes I find okay, nice. Is that more on the note? Yes. Does that sound better? Not necessarily, and in my opinion, no. Abby is a wonderful singer who is really ringing the full range of emotion out of this song. And this is an important thing that I wanted to discuss today because music is not about being on or off the note. It's a whole range of emotions. It's a whole color palette we have to choose from. So moving everything to right on the center of pitch is not near always necessarily the best way to work. So I can undo those. You can use Command Z. However, Melodyne has a wonderful undo system that is non-linear and allows us to undo only the choices we want to. So I could select all of these notes right here and right click and go to Restore Original Pitch Centers and that will move all of those notes back to the pitch where they originally were. Now what I can do is some more gentle pitch correction. I can move this one up just a little bit right here. Maybe I'll move this one up just a little right there and this one a little right here. And now when we give this a listen, we get... Sometimes I find... That's nice, I like that, right? We've corralled it a little bit closer to where we want, but still kept the emotion of the song that we are looking for right there. And from there, you can move on to the next notes that you want to edit. Now, in order to move on, we really need to understand how to navigate in Melodyne. So let me show you a few ways that you can quickly move easily around your session. First thing is, if you are in a DAW that has ARA, like Pro Tools right here, you can just click in the Pro Tools timeline and it will jump right to where you want to go. Now, in order for that to work, you need to have auto scroll selected. And that's over here in the lower right hand corner. It's this little icon right there. You'll see it says auto scroll. When that is on, like it is right now, and it's white and highlighted, as you play, as you move around, Melodyne will follow what's happening inside your DAW. Now, there are a couple of other ways that we can move around. And one of them that I want you to see is this bar along the bottom and this bar along the right here. These are kind of universal views that tell us what's going on. For example, if we look at the right hand side, you'll see here's all of the notes that are in the song. And I can grab this bar and move this to navigate vertically through the pitches of the song. I can also grab the top of that bar to shrink it a little bit or expand it. We've also got a bar along the bottom and all of these blobs kind of show you the universal view of the timeline of the song. So right here, we can tell that we are at the beginning of the song. That's a very easy way to see where you are within the whole song. But for me, for navigating, I really like to use the hotkeys. 
So if you look at my mouse right now, you'll see it's the pointer. When I hold down Option Command, this becomes the magnifying glass, right? So now I can click and drag down to the right and zoom in or up into the left to zoom out like so. And holding down Shift and Command gives you this grabber tool. So now you can move this uh, background around really easy. So if I want to move to a different part of a song, I might zoom out and then using Shift Command, move to where I want to go within the song. I want to work on this piece right here. Then I can Option Command and zoom in directly to the audio that I want to work on from there. Okay, great. Now, here's another part of the song that I want to work on. So let's take a look at this, right? Maybe I'll move this pitch up a little bit right here. I might move this up. I might move this one up. Maybe here I'll do a little correction and move this here. Except now we have an issue, right? We've got a lot of the notes that are right where we want them, but some of these notes swing way down and out of the way. So part of the note is on, but part of the note is off. We see that here, and we see that on this one as well. And this is a perfect place where we can talk about separating notes when leaving it as one doesn't work the way that you want it to. Now, there are a couple of ways that we can separate these notes. And the first thing I want to talk about is just the main tool that we have. It actually works as a multi-tool. In the bottom and center of the blob, this is a pitch tool. When we get to the sides, it forms a timing tool. We'll come back to that in just a little bit. And along the top of the blob, it forms the separation tool. So now with this tool right here, I can simply double click and separate this into two notes. And now I could take these notes and pitch correct them as I see fit. That's great and it works perfectly. However, it's not always clear where we want to separate the note. Making the separation at the right point is key towards getting a good performance. So let's talk about some ways that Melodyne can help you out there. First up, you can come to this wrench right here. This wrench is what we call note assignment mode. And when you go in here, I want you to understand this is not for editing. Note assignment mode is not about editing audio. This is about how Melodyne interprets the audio and sometimes how you can say to Melodyne, I want you to interpret this audio a little differently. Now within here on the right hand side, we have the note separation tool. And when you click on this, we will see red triangles and lines for actual separations. And then these hollow triangles for potential separations. Now these two sliders over here give us more or less of either. So if I want more of the potential separations, I can grab the right side of the slider and move it out. And if I want more of the actual separations, I can move that right there as well. Looking at this note right here, I see this hollow triangle right there. That's a potential separation. So you can just hover over that and double click and this will separate the note. Now, while we're here, I want to talk about something real quick. Separating a note, just so you know, does not change the note, right? Nothing is different about the pitch. It won't sound any different. All we're doing is splitting it and telling Melodyne to think about these as two separate notes. What you've changed about the note is nothing. What will change is now that you can edit them separately from one another and get the performance you're looking for. Okay, now there's one other way to show you how to do this. And I'm going to come back over here to this blob right here to show you this. And this is the letter S, S for separate. And I like this one a lot because it sort of moves through the note chronologically. This is a note I may want to separate more than once. So I can just hit S and we'll get our first separation. And I could click on this next blob or I could just hit the right arrow and hit S again and hit the right arrow and hit S again. And now we've separated this note into its component parts. So that sometimes is an easier way to work. Now that I've got these separations, I can make this pitch correction make sense within the song. For example, we see that she swings down in this note right here. And maybe I want that to sound natural and keep the swing. So maybe I'll move that to a note that is in the key of the song. Over here, I might do the exact same thing. I might move this down to a note that's in the song and do the same thing right there, right? So now I can move this one up just a little bit and this one up just a little bit. And now we've done some quick pitch correction for this part of the song. All right, let's bypass and hear the original. So stay with me and we can be. Okay, and now let's hear the pitch corrected version. Great. I liked all of that, except for this part right here, right? I move this and this gets a little bit of an artifact right there. So I want to might 
I might want to take a minute here and, and, and readdress this. And there's a couple things we can think about. One, those artifacts often come when there's too fast of a swing from one note to the other. So by dragging this note down, we've made it a little bit fast to go to this other note right here. So ways that we could deal with that would be to uh, eliminate some of these separations, or maybe in this case, what I want to do is move this note up to here and decide that that's where I want the separation, right? And now let's give this a listen. I'll do the same thing over here and see, maybe this is a choice we will like a little bit better. And I'm going to try and keep this pretty natural sounding. So I'm going to make this so that she still does swing down a little bit right there. All right, let's check this out. So stay with me and we can be. I like that. That's a different performance, but maybe you prefer that for this song. Okay, great. Now that we've covered separations, let's talk about the last tool that we've got in here, which is the timing tool. If you hover over the side of a note, you'll see that this makes the timing tool right here. And if I grab this and move this, nothing happens. And that's because right over here on the right hand side, you'll see this quarter note that's highlighted, right? This is our timing grid. Just like your DAW has a timing grid, Melodyne has a timing grid. Right now it is set to quarter note. Right, so anything that I move would have to move a quarter note. And all of these notes are way shorter than a quarter note, so we can't even stretch them. So in this case, we could make our grid much smaller, or we could just turn this grid off entirely. And now what we can do is come over here and edit some of these phrases. Like maybe I want this note to be a little shorter and leave this a little bit longer right here. Or Coming back over here to this one, sometimes a combination of pitch and timing can stretch these notes out so that you get a little bit more of the natural performance you're looking for. Let's give this a listen now. So stay with me and we can be. Nice. I really like that. We've edited the pitch and timing. That sounds great right there. Okay. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about today is a little bit of just cleaning up that you might want to do inside of a song. And let's jump over here to this portion of the song and take this, because we see this portion right over here. Let's listen to this. And by the way, if you don't want to play all of Pro Tools and just want to hear this vocal, you don't have to solo. You can just double click in the background of Melodyne and just hear this vocal. Ooh. World's running. Okay, now I played all over that to show you this right here because we see this in the window, but there's not really a lot going on right here. It's just some line noise, maybe a tiny bit of headphone bleed, and then a breath right there. And you may want to clean that up. And that is as simple as just selecting it. You can hover over it or click on it, and then you can delete that just like that to clean that up. Now, when we do this, we want to be really careful that we didn't accidentally chop off a tiny bit of the end right there or a little bit of the beginning right here. So let's give this a listen. Ooh. World's running that sounds great. It sounds very natural. I don't hear any problems in there at all. If you needed to extend one of those a little bit, it's very easy. You can just hover over the top to your note separation tool and just drag it back out a little bit so we get a little bit of that transient edge right there. Hope you've enjoyed this today. Thanks.